today about a recent paper of mine with Du Kim Hoon and Ralph Morrison, an elliptic curve test of the L-function ratios conjecture. The L-function ratios conjecture really starts back in 1993 when David Farmer considered integrals of ratios of the zeta function on the critical line, and he conjectured for appropriate values of the parameters a form for the answer. Uh, this was then extended in 2007 by Conry Farmer and Zernbauer, and they conjectured formulas for the averages of products of weighted L functions over various families. And the idea is that by understanding this statistic, you can deduce many things you care about for these families of L functions. For example, the L function ratios conjecture predicts the answer to the statistic, which can then be used to, dis to discover things about n-level correlations and densities, mollifiers, moments, vanishings at the central points. And one of the advantages of looking at the L-function ratios conjecture to predict the answers for these problems is that in standard random matrix theory models, the arithmetic is missing and you have to add in these arithmetic factors in an ad hoc manner. The arithmetic comes in very naturally here from the families of L-functions we're looking at. The other thing which is fascinating about the conjecture is that it's claimed to be correct all the way down to square root cancellation. Uh, the other thing is that this is often a very fast way to get a sense of what the answer to a problem should be. So how is the L-function ratios conjecture used? Well, the two key ingredients are the approximate functional equation, uh, basically writing the L-function as you know two sums with a, a nice weighting factor plus some error term, and then if you want to calculate something such as the one-level density to analyze zeros near the central point, you would use the explicit formula, which can be obtained by doing the contour integral of the derivative of the ratio. So here's the ratios procedure. There's five steps. The first is we use the approximate functional equation, but we ignore all the error terms. So we just use the first two pieces. The second is we expand the denominator by using the generalized Mobius function. We then execute the sum over the family, interchanging the order to bring the sum over the family inside, and we only keep the main terms. We then extend the m and n sums from the approximate functional equation to infinity uh, and complete the products, and then we differentiate with respect to the parameters. If you look at these, these steps, however, you'll realize that three of the steps involve either dropping or adding terms that are of the same size as the terms that are being kept. It's thus quite remarkable that the ratios recipe leads to answers that agree to square root cancellation with what we're able to show. So in our paper, we looked at families of quadratic twists of elliptic curves, and we calculated the ratios, conjectures, prediction, and number theory, and after doing some combinatorics, we were able to show that for suitably restricted test functions, the two are in agreement. Uh, this result is a, one of the key ingredients in forthcoming work with Eduardo Duenas, Du Kim Hoon, John Keating, and Nina Snaith in modeling zeros near the central point in families of elliptic curves. For example, uh, the plot here is looking at the distribution of the lowest zeros, the, low, you know, the first zero above the central point for quadratic twists of E11. And the sorted line here does not capture the observed repulsion that has been observed in previous investigations. By incorporating two ingredients, one is a discretization of values uh, in the random matrix ensembles to correspond to the discretization of values of the L functions at the central point, and then the other is reducing the matrix size to an n effective, where this n effective is determined by lower order terms in the one level density. And it is precisely these lower order terms that the ratios conjecture allows us to compute with these. Thank you.